Hey gang, Hammer here. Hope you all are doing well. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the new trophy system in Shadow Fight Arena. It's been around 10 days since the new major update, and now that I've had a chance to experience what this new leaderboard system is like, I'd like to give you a kind of an analysis and a review of it, to give you my thoughts on what it's been like. So overall, I would say that my experience has been mixed, but one of the biggest positives of this new system is that it is fun. It is quite fun. It has been very enjoyable to kind of test myself against some of the better players in North America and trying to rank myself up to number one. As you can see, I have hit 3,500 trophies. And that brings me to the first negative of this new trophy system. Uh, the, first, the new trophy system has a max on the amount of trophies that you can gain, and that is 3,500. So once you gain the 3,500 trophies, you can no longer gain any more. But you can still lose trophies if you go into a match with someone and you lose. So mathematically, it doesn't make any sense for me to play any more games for the next 30 days. And what will also happen is if, say, Firelord, for example, gets 3,500 trophies too, they will still stay in second. They won't upgrade to, upgrade to first. So what this is going to do is that if you or in the other servers, if other players hit 3,500 if they hit the max, they're just going to stop playing 3v3s and that will eventually result in some stale leaderboards. You can imagine, for example, say the top five or six people all have 3,500 trophies. There's going to be no movement up there for the next 30 days or so, depending on how quickly we can all get there. So the first thing I'd like to see with this new system is for that max to be removed somehow because right now it just doesn't sit with me right it's gonna make leaderboards kind of boring in my opinion now i don't know exactly why this max exists because um, you could easily have for example down here just a little plus sign at the end of that 3500 and if you go go to say 4,000 trophies, it's totally fine to get reset to 2050 with everybody else. Now why this max may exist is to prevent large separations between players on the leaderboards. And one of the only reasons I can think of for that, let me know in the comments if you have other theories, but the reason for that might be to kind of put a damper on the matchmaking times. By keeping players in a tro closer trophy range, you can kind of prevent matchmaking times from getting too out of hand. Now, however, matchmaking times at the top of the leaderboards are already kind of out of hand. I've had to wait multiple hours in some cases for me to get paired with another opponent. And the reason for that exists because there is a maximum trophy dif difference that you can have uh, in order for you and another player to get matched up in ranked. For example, there's probably lots of matches going on right now, even while I speak. Um, but due to the amount of trophies I have, I think I am limited in the amount of players that I can fight. I've done some testing with Wormy Jeremy and others in the Infinite Clan, uh, Titopia, Fire Lord, um, Shikata, Infinite Ares. Okay. We've all we've kind of tested out what the maximum range is for. Um, the difference between players can have in order to get paired up and we've come up with a number around 300 um, so using that number of 300 trophies 
53500 I could potentially get maxed or paired up with someone with 3200 trophies because that's a 300 trophy difference. Now, that only puts me into the matchmaking with eight other players, including myself, so that would only be seven. So I can only match with seven players at any given time with the current amount of trophies I have. Now hopefully that problem will get solved once more players get their trophy levels above 3200, at least for me specifically. However, that will also kind of serve to squish everyone right at 3500, because the more that everyone gains trophies, the more people are going to reach 3500. So I'm predicting by, you know, the later end of this month, this top screen is going to be all people who have 3,500 trophies. That is one prediction. However, one thing to note about trophy gain and trophy loss at high levels, and that is kind of another issue I want to bring up, not a huge issue, but one I want to talk about, is that trophy gain is not equal to trophy loss in a match. So for if Firelord and I, for example, were to play 10 matches together right now, and we each won 5 and we each lost 5, we would each lose 30 trophies times 5 matches, which would be 150 trophies. We would only gain 15 trophies times 5 matches, which would be 75. So we would both lose trophies if Firelord and myself were to play a long set of matches together. So one thing that that does is it kind of discourages you from playing lots of matches. One thing I've noticed is that if you match up with someone quite a few times in ranked, it's not really beneficial for either of you to keep playing each other because you're both probably going to lose trophies from each other. That's another thing. So. The leaderboards might not look like a string of 3500s later on due to this trophy loss, but we are going to have to wait and see. On one hand, you either have lower matchmaking times, but everyone has 3500 trophies, or you have not a lot of players very high up, and then you have very, very long matchmaking times. Now, I do recognize that this is a problem that's not going to affect the majority of the player base. This is only within the top the top of the leaderboards here. But another thing about matchmaking right now is that it is purely based off of trophies. It is no longer based off of your level or your character's hero's level. So what's happening is that you are getting matched up against lots of players that have either much higher dojo level than you or much lower. And naturally, that's not very fun. This game is at its most fun when you're fighting players fairly, um, when there's fair matchups. You know, if I'm fighting a dojo 8 player, it's not that fun for me because I know I'm gonna win, I know they're gonna, they know that they're gonna lose. Not fun for either of us. Hopefully that can sort itself out with the trophy system. So the lower dojo players will lose trophies. The higher dojo players will gain trophies. We'll see if that sorts itself out. But right now in 1v1 specifically, I'm reaching I'm reaching this top these top areas fighting pretty much exclusively do, lower dojo players. Like you can see up here I'm fighting, you know, Dojo 10s, Dojo 8s, 10s, 11s. There's a lot of lower Dojo players that I have to fight in order to get, um, in order to get up here. So that's another thing. Now, one thing I've noticed recently is that you can still gain trophies from bots. And I kind of lost my mind when I saw that because we were promised in the announcements for this updates that bots would no longer give you trophies. However, they still do. 
I don't know the reason why for this because it kind of messes up the trophy economy. If you have trophies constantly being introduced by bots, you're going to inflate everyone's rank. And if you have, say for example, a lot of people up at the max, 3,500, um, that's only going to add to gain or add trophies here. So that does kind of counteract the that does counteract the fact that you gain less trophies than you lose because of the introduction of new trophies with the bots. But that's also going to inflate players ranks where they don't deserve it. Because fighting bots is always going to be easier than fighting new players or fighting players. So they need to pick one or the other. I feel like you either need to have these leaderboards where you gain as much trophies as you lose and you get rid of bots or you allow bots but you don't do leaderboards. Because having a leaderboard where you can gain trophy trophies up to a certain amount Kind of it just does it makes the whole experience of leaderboards kind of not mean much now i'm going to show you one thing myself and wormy discovered that you can gain trophies from bots all the way up to 805 trophies once you reach 805 trophies you will be instead given the option to go to unranked which will pair you against a bot but you will not be able to gain trophies from it in order to further increase your rating you will have to fight players. So that 805 metric is about halfway on the leaderboard here. And it is six positions or so from the top. So six rating brackets. In 3v3s, if we do the same uh, estimate, of six brackets down that'll put you in around this range here so using this math you can gain yourself 23 heroes times 805 trophies equals 18,000 approximately trophies and in 3v3s you can probably gain around you know 2350 trophies which in the end will put you a little bit around 20,000 trophies if not more and currently in this scenario here that would put you way up high on the leaderboard so you technically could be the top of the leaderboards right now in North America just by fighting bots alone and I don't think that that should be in the game so I would I have a couple things I would like to see from the update now from this new trophy system one I'd like to see the max of 3500 removed so that the top of the leaderboards don't become stale two I'd like to see bots be removed not removed in that you can't fight them but removed in that you can no longer gain rating from them like we were promised and then three I would like the the amount of trophies that you, or the maximum trophy difference between players to increase when it comes to matchmaking so that I can still find matches and it doesn't take me hours upon hours to get them. Overall, I would say that I am very happy that this new system is in the game, even though there is a few problems with it. I think that is a step in the right direction and I like the idea behind it. Um, should these problems get fixed, should get worked out, I think we would have a fantastic system. And I do want to take a moment to recognize that Nike has done quite a lot for us players in the past uh, few weeks. They have brought us leaderboards, brought us a new hero, and they have changed the shard system. I am thinking of doing a bit of a deep dive analysis into the shard system as well, just to see 
how exactly it will affect players. But I think that's all for me for now. Thank you for watching, gang. Hope you enjoyed, and good luck in the arena. I'll see you around.